Good morning, this is Steve O'Hare from Signal Centre and today is Tuesday the 27th of April 2021. Uh, today I'm presenting some technical analysis outlook on Bitcoin. Now we took a look at this last week and um, we managed to pick up uh, a uh, signs of a correction and we can drill down into that today and talk about that a bit further. I'll start with a weekly chart, then drill down to shorter term frames to give an idea of levels to watch and formations that we're seeing. So I've uh, taken a little look, look at the uh, basically the rally from the 9th of March uh, 2020. Uh, so this was the pandemic uh, really sort of in full flow uh, on the first wave and uh, we saw the, the, the big sell off to uh, 3,800 in Bitcoin. Seems like a long time ago now and obviously the move since then has been uh, pretty astronomic. Uh, we've seen a, over 52 bars over nearly a year, a, uh, an uptick of 1500%. So uh, really the, the formation that we can see here is this impulsive wave higher. We normally get this in three waves. Uh, higher and two waves lower. So the first wave impulsive up uh, to wave one, retracement to wave two, up to wave three, retracement to wave four, and then the fifth wave. Three, the third wave is normally not the shortest wave. So we're really looking for um, signs of an end of the fifth wave. Once we get this, we will get a correction. Um, and this is normal in all types of markets and uh, the correction lower uh, which we'll try and predict where we see that going to so if we take a look at the daily chart we've also drawn some um, formations in here triangle formations and wedge, wedge formations and also i've added the volume to give an indication of what the volume looks like it's a, it's a, it's a very good indicator from the technical analysis perspective and also we've got the macd which is a momentum indicator so we saw this triangle formation with prices breaking up and once you see a break of uh, the downward trend in resistance on the triangle formation normally you'll see an impulsive wave uh, move higher which we did get and then we saw a wedge formation and this was a rising wedge where we saw prices moving higher but in a in, in a quite a controlled manner and uh, but this can, can a lot of the time be a sign that the market is coming to a top now also at the same time we're seeing these volumes drop off you can see volumes dropping lower you can see the momentum of the up move moving lower so that's also an indication that a correction is due in order to uh, bring these markets back to normality um, if there can be any sort of normality in uh, Bitcoin. So uh, we finally got a break of this uh, on the 18th of April, this wedge and the correction lower has uh, played out over the last week or so. Uh, to go down to the four hour chart, we'll get some uh, levels really to watch um, coming up. We had this bearish flag, which we highlighted last week. Again, another short term more short term indicator uh, that there is potential for further downside and we saw that develop over last week. Uh, prices have managed to find a bottom uh, at 47,000 and we can see on the four hour chart this bullish hammer posted. Now that is a positive um, candle and that has led to a, a, a decent sort of correction higher. Um, although the Ichimoku cloud looks to be stifling uh, this move higher. Let me just remove that cloud just to give it a little bit more, um, make it a little bit clearer. Uh, momentum has been very strong over uh, the past few days as we've seen the correction higher from 47,000 to 54,722. So what levels should we be watching next? Well, for me, uh, the real resistance level uh, that I think will have uh, any sort of power and that will be an indicator of whether we're going to get a um, another correction lower is um, 57 and a half thousand around about that level. Um, it's uh, with it, we're only within uh, 3,000 points of it, not very far at all in terms of Bitcoin uh, prices. And then it would be a case of whether we hold this resistance or not 
Um, if we manage to hold the resistance, then we could easily uh, drift back towards the 47,000 and retest that. Uh, the normal correction after an impulsive five wave move higher is a three wave correction. So we'll get one wave correction, two waves lower. Um, longer term prices we'll be looking at is move a move to below the 40,000 level, but that's a little bit of a way off and the support in between at 43,000. So there's some levels to watch. Uh, a break of the 57,500 and that opens up another attack on the all time highs at 65,000. Thanks for joining me this week. Hope it's been informative and look forward to seeing you next week.